Right, um, welcome to episode 3 of Dane and Steve. Now, while we're recording this, we are actually a little bit, a little bit drunk on our home-brewed beer. So you have to forgive any mistakes. Dane, anything to add? Yeah, um, I don't know. He's just a little bit shy, as always, a good boy, really. So, uh, this is episode 3. A cozy night by the fire. Please enjoy. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, a cozy night in. I'm just relaxing by the fire in a comfortable house with Dane. And now Dane's just colouring with some crayons on his little colouring book. Ain't you, Dane? Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> He's a good boy, really. Ah, time to settle down with a good book. Gonna settle down with my book. Where was Dad? I was wondering, you know when Grand Grandma Cornwallis died? I was wondering how do people die? Is there a magic cat who comes and collects them from their their deathbeds or <laughs> What do you mean a magic cat then? When when some what? Oh, bugger. <laughs> Hey, 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 oi, um, no, don't stop me, um, well, you know the man who comes and fixes my Xbox sometimes, and, shit, we recording? I'm telling you, you want to deal on it, and, and, got to feel so empty with that man there, this looks like a job. Eh, uh, well, dude, I was really wondering, um, uh, how do people die? Well, you see, Dane, when someone dies... Some would say that their soul has stopped living, and others would suggest that perhaps their physical form has died, but their spiritual form, in fact, lives, and some Christians would claim it goes up to heaven, and Muslims would say Allah eats it. That's a bit controversial, but what's your views on this, Dane? Well, to be honest, Dad, I've been growing a lot, up a lot recently, and I believe, and I believe, and when people die, there's a magic cat named Tommy the Cat. And he comes and he buggers their sisters and brothers so they know that they've died. Dang, that's a filthy, filthy talk. And it reminds me of a song I once heard. Called Mr. Crinkle by Primus. Have you ever heard the song, Dane? Hello, Mr. Crinkle. How, How are, are you today? today? Ah, it's a great song, Dane. Uh, yeah, you can play that on your bass guitar, can't you, Dane? Yep, yep. No. No? Anyway, I was really wondering, what's a catamite? Oh, God, Dane, children always ask the most difficult of questions. <laughs> a catamite is someone... A catamite is a, ma is a, is a boy... He sells himself out to older male of an old older man for anal gay sex stain. Am I a catamite? Do you do you sell yourself to older older men for gay sex? Well, one time I was at Paul's house, you see, and I was pouring his dinner in the kitchen with his and Paul's dad came home and I said hello Paul's dad. And he bugged me. Yeah, did he now? Well, Danny, I think you're Fallon Phipps. Yep, he crammed his fingers in my ear. That's not sodomy, Dane. Sodomy is putting your penis up another man's ass. <laughs> Sean Murray's not going to know what to think when he sees this, eh, Murray? <laughs> I don't think we know what we mean by this, Dane. <laughs> I want to hear it. Oh, bollocks. Here I am. Yeah. Milk chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of chocolate. V um, viewers who actually like Dan and Steve, I'm very sorry to say this is not a very good episode <laughs> because me and Dan are quite tipsy on our homebrew beer. And by the way, my name is Niall McGuire and I play Steve, Stephen Fairwood on the show Dan and Steve. And I am Dan Fairhurst, I play Dan. And I play bass guitar for ten months, and I love it. And I'm not a root noser. I love to play bass guitar. Amen. Uh, and that's my brother, Dave McGuire. 
Um, for for actual fans of the show, we're very grateful that you don't pause it, Dan. Okay. We're very grateful that you actually are actually watching this now. I know, I know it's been a tricky road over the two episodes we've done, but but we love you anyway. So um. Indeed. Indeed. Yes, Dan. Paul's got HIV. Uh, no, how's he got HIV, Dane? Because one way or another, oh, the rain clouds are mowing down, and I can't see it all. Even now, oh, rah, 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 makes me wonder why I'm not so bad. I'm not so bad now. We then we're gonna do another episode where we get a backing track for that. Let me download the backing track first, eh? Oh yeah, and uh, hmm. Um, well, uh, uh, and if it's so empty with it, Dean. This looks like a good job for Dean. I'm putting this up, I don't care how stupid it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, listeners. We are now Radio Rock, by the way. My Radio Caroline. Which, is, which was during the time of a legal thing. Uh, David Farah, if you are listening to this, you've always wondered what I sound like. This is my slightly pompous voice, and this is Dan's voice. You complimented me on my bass tones, and I talked to you once, and I quite enjoyed your commentary. And Dan is our bassist. You haven't heard Owen for a long time, but this is me. Anyway, um, we're going to listen over what we've recorded so far in our drunken slumber. So hang on. <laughs> hey, um, Saxa table salt. <laughs> You don't know whether you love it or you hate it. Okay, listeners, loyal listeners, this might, this might be the last episode of Dan and Steve. We had great plans. We'd a whole, we had a whole series, series, plotted out. But you, the listener, you weren't loyal enough. You didn't tell your friends about this. We don't have enough fans. We don't need. We don't have people interested in hearing about what we have to say and do with Dan and Steve Fairwood, the greatest citizens of the British Isle. Dan. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Anyway, you may not hear this voice again for a long time, but I beg you, please remember it. Thank you very much. Hail Tamriel. Hail Tamriel. Goodbye.